Now I have won my husband back, I am leaving him. Trigger warnings, infidelity, spousal neglect. I have secured an apartment for my baby and me and I have put everything in order and prepared for custody. Shared or otherwise. I have divided the money and transferred my share to a third account and it will stay there until the divorce proceedings and the dividing of the assets. I found out that my husband was having an affair while I was postpartum. I thought that I would die because I love him and it felt like my heart was broken into a million pieces. I knew that it was over but my curiosity got the best of me. I wanted to know why. What was it she had that I didn't? Did he love her? I started reading his texts and everything was there. He felt like he was alive again. He was happy and excited. She's single and childless so she had all the time in the world to make him her priority. He felt seen and desired by her. I was confused because even with life coming between us he was always my love and I made sure he knew that every day. Still it wasn't enough. I read thousands upon thousands of messages between them and I started being everything he fantasized about. In the beginning, it felt weird and he was confused but I just went on. Every time he made plans with her I found a way to make him stay or I made sure that I sent him exhausted to her. The messages became less and less frequent and the passion and excitement subsided. Soon answering her became more of a chore. The complaining started and he pulled away. He was happier at home and he couldn't wait to come home. He started texting me again during the day, the sweetest texts of how he missed me. He was his old self back. One day what I hoped and waited patiently for happened. He ended things with her. He told her that he loved me and that now everything was great again. Her services weren't needed in other words. I felt relieved and finally I could move on. Now I am preparing for my divorce. He will get the papers the day I leave for my new life in my new apartment. I know I will get a lot of hate for this because I have neglected my husband and pushed him to seek solace in another woman's arms when I apparently could give him what he sought all along and believe me I will bear the guilt for the rest of my life. In my defense, I didn't do it intentionally. Our lives had just been altered drastically and I was trying to navigate this new and exciting existence. I was immersed in this new kind of happiness that I thought I was sharing with him. And I was trying to get to know my new body, that I couldn't recognize anymore. A real scary feeling. But he could have come to me with his hurt. He could have talked to me about his suffering. He could have tried to make me understand but he chose not to. He decided to deceive me. Deceive us. He ruined our love, our future and even our history. Nothing was or will be the same again. Relevant comments. I would have immediately raged at him and noped the F out for not only cheating but cheating while I just had his baby. But I always applauded petty revenge. You didn't neglect him. He got you pregnant and then started banging someone else. You're not neglecting someone if you're unable to do the same things as you could before you had a baby. You were being a mother and instead of being a father he was getting his D wet. Wish you the best and I hope you have screenshots of all the evidence of the affair so he can't act like it came out of nowhere to others. OP, I just felt ashamed that I lost my love and I guess it made sense that I wanted to win him back. I get what you mean though. Comment. In the end of all this, I hope you're truly happy. OP, I am. I'm sad about the fact that he wasn't the one I would spend the rest of my life with like we dreamed but on a general level, I'm happy. I am blessed with the most amazing little boy and I am still young and beautiful. I have so much love in my life and great many supportive people. Romantic love will come. Comment. Just a heads up moving money around prior to a divorce makes it seem like you're attempting to hide it, and may bite you in the ass during the asset division. Especially if he does a discovery period. OP, I am not hiding the money. It's still in my name which means it is still a part of the estate. I don't want him to withdraw and make the money disappear. He can't access my account. Update 1. He always loved April Fools. I feel a lot of guilt and guilt-related pain. I know what I am doing is so cruel but I guess I will just keep going with my plans. There's no turning back now. Whenever I feel shit like I am the bad guy I just remember their conversations. No I am not the villain here. I will end the marriage and I will tell him that it is because we aren't compatible anymore. Let him think whatever. I have decided maybe I shouldn't tell him that I know about her. Let him run back to her once he realizes that I am really gone. When my baby is older, we could tell him that we got an amicable divorce. No hurt or hard feelings. Two people who fell out of love. My boy doesn't need to know his daddy broke up the family. It is okay you can hate me. Relevant comments, why are you feeling guilty? He's the one who cheated and is reaping what he sowed. OP, because I am bitterly plotting behind the scenes and won't give him a chance to apologize or explain. Comment. Apologies for going off into another lane here, but what in the absolute hell are all these hundreds of thousands of women doing engaging in affairs with married men? What is there to gain at all? Who is raising these girls? Is this the twilight zone? I'm honestly needing some answers here. OP. Well, I can only speak from the messages I have read. She is in love. He just happened to be married. 
I am an obstacle, a nuisance. So I guess it is love? Comment. He was fine plotting behind the scenes to hook up with another woman. No need to hear empty apologies for something he wanted and didn't regret doing. OP, that's it. I don't want to hear apologies and excuses. Update 2. I did exactly as I planned. I moved out after I left my husband divorce papers. I told him that I wasn't in love with him anymore and that I think we are better off as co-parents than as a couple. That I have found a new place and he could buy me out of our current home or sell the property once the divorce is finalized. He was in a total shock but probably not the same shock I was in when I found out that he was cheating on me. He literally asked if I hit my head and even told people that he was worried that I had a brain tumor. He was very angry in the beginning and wanted answers. No answer was good enough. Is there someone else? No, dear husband. There isn't someone else, but there isn't you either. The audacity of that man. I reminded him that we still had our son and to think about him before acting vindictive. Sure enough he kept it civil around our son. One thing he kept asking is why and how long ago I stopped loving him. He didn't get any answers from me. Other than that, everything has been fine with me. I am adjusting well. I still miss him but at the same time I feel like I could finally breathe. I feel like I have been living on shallow breathing for the past months and now I could take full breaths. Our families are very sad and mostly shocked but honestly they have been very understanding. There's no bad reason for divorce. Wanting divorce is a good enough reason for them. To want to separate, to not want to be with your partner. My ex-in-laws are still very active in my son's life and they have been very cordial, if a bit cold towards me. That represented itself when about two weeks ago, my mother-in-law in a bit of a passive-aggressive tone told me that my husband had started seeing someone. She apologized immediately and said that she just wanted me to know and be prepared that he had someone new and yet I couldn't help but hear some vindication in her voice. I just answered oh. Do you mean Karen? I gave the mistress this name for obvious reasons. She looked shocked and asked me did you know? Did he talk to you about it? I said oh no, but she isn't new. I told her that he has been sleeping with her since I had just given birth, maybe even before that. I kept my voice very quiet and monotone like we were discussing the weather. I was already regretting my slip but the news that he started seeing Karen again, while very much anticipated, still made my heart hurt. My mother and father-in-law just looked at each other. I don't know if they believed me but then how would I have known about Karen when I have refused to see him in person since our breakup? So now everyone knows anyway and I have learned that you can't keep these things to yourself indefinitely. Since he found out he has been called and apologizing every day. Why didn't you tell me? How much did I hurt you? He said that he loved me and never stopped loving me. That he was so sorry for everything and that he would do anything to have me back as his wife. My mother-in-law apologized too even though she had no control over what her grown-up son did or does. It's not her fault. He writes that he loves me every night before bed. I hope this doesn't mean that he would make the divorce drag out because then I have failed my plan but he seems to be less forgiving of the divorce when he knew that he was the reason for it than when he thought it was mine. Weird. The divorce is still processing and if anything major happens I will be here again if I haven't outstayed my welcome already.